Hey guys, what's going on? This is iAppleGeek, and today I'm bringing you guys a list of top 10 useful tweaks for iOS 10.2 in under 3 minutes. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright, so the first tweak I wanted to talk about is a tweak called Ks. This tweak basically allows you to have OXO 3-like shortcuts in the bottom corners of your screens. You can swipe up to access a miniature app switcher, or you can set it to dismiss the current application. Reform X allows you to customize the layout of your home screen. You can adjust columns, rows, space between icons. This is great if you want to increase the number of icons on your screen. Next up we have Yalu Time which basically allows you to see the amount of time remaining before you have to re-sign your Yalu application. No Close will prompt you before you exit the now playing app in multitasking. Super handy. Slide to Unlock 10 brings back the Slide to Unlock feature from iOS 9 back into iOS 10 in place of the notifications view. Now for those of you out there who listen to Pandora, Phenom is an essential tweak because it will remove those annoying pop-ups and ads from the application allowing you to view the album artwork and different parts of the app without annoying interruptions. As you may know, YouTube has recently added a function to their mobile application that allows users to skip in the now playing media by tapping on the screen multiple times. Now for some of you, this can be annoying, so using the tweak called No YouTube Double Tap will disable this gesture making video watching what it once was. Next up we have Bye Bye HUD which is a free solution to minimize that volume pop-up. There are several different styles you can choose from. Definitely a must-have. Now for those of you folder abusers out there, you might want to check out Nest 10. This will allow you to create nested folders in iOS 10. So you can have folders within a folder within another folder. So you can have all your apps just in one folder which is in another folder which is crazy. Now if you think a lot of the stuff in your control center is useless, SubCC basically allows you to have only part of the control center showing. And you can customize it in settings to your liking. Somehow this reminds me of Logan's Rusty Claw. I know, it's already 10 tweaks, but I couldn't resist. Here's a couple bonus ones. The first one is called Siri Spotlight, where if you put Siri in front of any question in the Spotlight search and hit cancel, it will automatically bring up Siri. So if you're in a quiet environment and you don't want to sound possessed, this could be very useful. You know, sometimes song artists have some really beautiful artwork, but your control center just doesn't cut it. Biggie Small CC will allow you to have a dynamic album artwork and the controls optimized for your device. So the bigger your device, the bigger the artwork, and vice versa. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this very fast-paced video. If you found these tweaks useful, let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.